Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel. And uh, one of the things that we have not talked about much on this channel and is happening right now is a polar cap absorption event. So we talk about solar activity in different ways. We talk, you know, we were just are coming out of a major geomagnetic storm. Auroras were visible up to Arizona. Tells you how powerful that storm was in the last 24 hours. Now, in the last 24 hours, we also got news of a uh, thing called polar cap absorption. This is an event that can happen from time to time with coronal mass ejections when they actually have a lot of high-energy protons. And what happens is that the Earth is a giant magnet, so basically the protons are actually funneled through the poles with the uh, magnetic fields of the Earth. And now the thing that happens is that as it actually touches the atmosphere, it will actually uh, destroy the ionosphere pretty much above the polar regions. And the more it's powerful, the more the absorption, and here is what it looks like in the last 24 hours. What you see here is that the absorption is very intense at the poles. That's where you see the color that's really red. And basically, every frequency below 35 megahertz in the red zone is attenuated almost to zero. And so shortwave is pretty much inexistent in the polar caps right now. What is unique about polar cap absorptions is that they often last much longer than anything else. A geomagnetic storm might you know, last a few hours to a day, day and a half, and then subside. But a polar cap absorption can last several days in a row. So we've shown propagation of signals where you know, you'll often hear some, some signals from different parts of the world and you know, while you're in the target zone, even if they're not transmitting towards you. I'll have a video explaining something about some of the signals coming from Asia to North America or Europe, for example, which will let you ex uh, understand also why a polar cap absorption might actually make you pretty much not hear anything that you might hear from, say, KBS South Korea or North Korea or China, uh, and Thailand, and so on. And uh, you'll understand why in another video that I'm going to make today. So we are in there. Um, one of the best places to see how, what's happening with polar cap absorptions and so on, of course, spaceweather.com. And uh, as this will subside eventually, of course, signals will come back. But if you would be in the red zone right now with a shortwave radio, chances are you wouldn't hear anything on the band right now. Uh, so that means that if you're in the zone, so for example, there's an amateur radio operator in uh, Eureka in Nunavut, Canada. And that means that ham radio operator on the HF bands probably is not receiving anything. But there are other phenomena that can actually propagate through all sorts of these weird um, you know, modes of propagations when we have events like this happening. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.